Today, welcome back to Vlog Social Learning. In this episode, I'm gonna take a look at how we can paint hair into Suzanne. All right. So, first of all, I'm gonna create Suzanne, and I will subdivide. Control two. Right click, turn on shade smooth, and simply apply because I want to just use the weight um, to paint on Suzanne. So, we're gonna use weight paint not vertex paint, weight paint and then simply um, kind of paint wherever you want Susan hair to be so maybe we can kind of just paint around here we can actually increase the the polygon count on Susan so let's say this is one type of hair and by default, the weight is called group. Let's call this hair A. Okay, let's save this. Susan here. And we're gonna take a look at geometry nodes. So you can, of course, do this uh, for blender hair as well, but um, I like geometry nodes a lot because it's a uh, it's a bit fast, faster for my brain. So let's use distribute. And for the density, of course, we're gonna use hair A. So I'm increasing the density. So now we can see already the hair being generated. So the density sometimes is dependent dependent on the size of Suzanne as well. So if I if I enlarge Suzanne, we're gonna have more points around the area, which is uh, interesting. But we don't we don't want to do that for now. So just have like two hundred points and the next thing we want to do we can try using volume points to volume control the radius so this is where we're gonna see hair on Suzanne and volume to mesh maybe adjust the threshold we also have this grid density, which is uh, kind of interesting. Maybe we can use hair. A. Oh no! It's somehow like a hidden attribute. So right now we have Suzanne and the hair. If we want to have a different color, let's try. This is like Suzanne's skin. Material one is Suzanne skin, and let's create another material, and this is gonna be Suzanne hair color. Okay, let's save this, and perhaps we can use material index to colorize this hair before we join back the geometry. Okay, it's also a little bit like snow at this point. So let's do attribute fill. And we're gonna use integer attribute uh, let's see material index. It's very handy attributes, kind of like hidden but it's there and you can change the hair color okay something like that <laughs> it's a little bit like sauce, tomato sauce let's use different hair 
Okay. So on top of this, um, the nice thing about this method is that um, even though you're still dependent on the poly count, um, at this point you can actually instance more objects on top of the on this mesh, the new mesh objects. So what I mean by that, you can let me create like a cylinder. So this is a cylinder, one unit size. Need to maybe make it smaller. Go back to Suzanne. Point <coughs> distribute. And I can use the the new mesh as the density for our cylinder. Now we are actually instancing the geometry. We, we, we're losing the color because the color now is looking at this guy so we need to give a color at some point maybe we have more control over the color based on the parents for now I just gonna leave it like that so before we do the point instancing we want to control maybe the the scale so this is the scale for each instance object now we, okay we have standing here And we can further like randomize this scaling. At the moment, it's so each one of the hair strand have the same length. Maybe we can use attribute randomize. So we can randomize the scale using this method. You can see now we have more random shapes of hair. But maybe we want to randomize just the length. And instead of replacing or recreating, we're just going to add it. So now we have like shorter hair and longer hair based on the original size. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see if this this one maybe smaller number. So we have like a volume of hair for Suzanne. Anytime uh, we can always come back and go back to weight paint and paint more hair you can actually make like a more like a spiky hair and yeah the cool thing of course from the instance you can always remesh it back So that's. I think we we will eventually have like a remesh node in here, but for now we can just use remesher. Oh, okay. It's remeshing the whole thing, which is uh, maybe not what you want, but for this demonstration, it's okay.
So at, uh, at this point, it's almost like uh, we are sculpting the original mesh of Suzanne, and because it's it's doing it for the whole mesh, we get this result. And we can always change the instance object instead of using cylinder. We can use maybe like a torus donut. So you can come back here, select the geometry nodes modifier. Oh, okay, it needs to think and replace this with a torus. Yeah, I wish my computer is a bit faster, but I think yeah, it's still pretty interesting that we can do this pretty easily. Let's make this to one. So we're gonna have a lot of dots or donuts on top of original Suzanne. It's gonna remesh it for us. So that's a quick look at how we are using vertex weight attribute to paint and distribute volume and then how we use instancing as well um, if I'm not wrong vertex color actually can be used as attribute input so at the moment is we are just using this hair a we haven't used vertex paint vertex paint may actually work um, for now, what you can do is actually sending vertex color back into this object, which is pretty weird. So if you create a vertex colors attribute here, just call it like call C O L. You can you can actually take a look at this this character over here. Um, let's see if I make this less density so it's a bit faster. Okay, you can basically transfer the color back. So I can uh, I cannot remember. Maybe we can just the easiest is to use just attribute fill. And just pass any color into the color. Oh well. Um, we are doing this instant scenes, etc. So maybe it will be interesting if we just pass this before the instance. So we are we are like maybe colorizing just the instance object. Let's see if that's actually working. It might not work because we are doing remesher and I shouldn't be doing remesher for now. This is what I'm trying to do, fill on the color attribute. And maybe it will pass down the, um, the color information into the shader. So that's the, that's the idea. So currently hidden and yeah, let's see, should I, should I continue? This is Blender 2.93, okay. Somehow, it gets really slow. Let's wait for a while. Okay, I shouldn't be using Remesh file save as save okay let's try this thing attribute fill call like this here um, it's very interesting that it presses but uh yeah anyway that's how you paint um, instance objects 
and treat it. You can treat it as a sculpting method. But anyway, still pretty interesting. So hopefully, thanks again uh, for tuning in. Hopefully this is useful for you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.